talk about this one iodine 131 has a half life of 8 days uh, in a particular and in a particular sample the amount of iodine 131 remaining after d days can be modeled by the function h given by this so this is the amount of iodine which is left where a naught is the amount of iodine at the uh, in the sample at t equal to 0 so a naught is the you know the iodine sample uh, with which they started the amount now, which of the following functions k models the amount of iodine remaining after three hours where a naught is the is the amount of iodine 131 in the sample at t equal to zero there are 24 hours in a day too so t is equal to 24 t okay okay uh i think what they are asking over here is just the conversion because they have already given us the value of h of d where d is in number of days and this is obviously giving us the amount of iodine remaining after d days and what they need from us is the amount of iodine remaining after t hours so all we have to do is complete convert the days into hours and we know that t is 24 d that's clearly given to us so the number of days are going to be t over 24 so all we have to do is replace d with t over 24 over here so this is going to look like h of d will be equal to a naught 0 0.5 raised to d over 8 so d over 8 can be written as 1 over 8 times d and this d can be written as t over 24 right what is 24 times 8 24 times 8 times 4 is 32 this is 3 8 times 2 is 16 17 18 19 so this is 192 so this will come out as a naught times 0 0.5 raised to t over 192 this will be the equivalent expression for the this will be the equivalent expression for the um uh, uh the same thing in t in terms of r so which is option t it was pretty straightforward they just they just they were just trying to confuse us with the you know complicated uh language